Sacrifice is laying down my life so that others might live. So go back to the story. So he puts the wood on the altar. What's the next thing he does? He, he <laughs> Think about this for a moment. He cut the bull into pieces. So Elijah's just not a prophet. He's the local butcher. Get, get the picture here, okay? This is Elijah, okay? He's showing up like this. He's like, he's like that mall ninja guy that you see, you know? He's got the throwing stars, got all that cool stuff in his house. Those guys... They frighten me. You ever been in somebody's house and they got like samurai swords and they're hanging right there on the wall and you're like, okay, somebody needs to get another hobby. But anyway, so he, get the picture, he takes this, his sword and he slices the bull into pieces. It's like, kids, hide your head. Don't look, hide your eyes, kids. You don't, you don't want to see this. Why is Elijah doing this? He's reminding them that that bull represents them. That in the Old Testament, what we see, if you're not familiar with the Old Testament, they offered sacrifices. Why did they do that? Not to appease God like the other, like the uh, people did for the gods of Baal. No, they weren't doing it to appease God. They did it because that's what God asked of them. That's what God required. God said, listen, I, I, I want to let a bull be a substitute for you. You probably, you deserve to die for what you've done, but you know what? I am making a way. And The bull was simply a foreshadowing of the Messiah, of Christ, of Jesus who would come. And Scripture tells us that the bulls and the animal sacrifices can't take away the, the sins of the people because they're imperfect. But Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. We know this, that Jesus came in the flesh. He died on the cross. He was the perfect sacrifice, sacrificed one time for all time. And then Jesus who went to the cross, he says this about you and I in Matthew 16, 24. He says, take up what? Your cross. you got to take up your cross. In other words, Jesus says, you got to die to yourself. you you, you got to die to your pride. you got to die to your jealousy. you got to die to lust. you got to die to your selfish desires and thinking only about yourself. Write this down. If you're taking notes, write this down. Sacrifice is laying my sinful desires on the altar. Sacrifice is laying my sinful desires on the altar. Like Elijah, God wants to cut away those things that are not like him. The Apostle Paul, he wrote a letter to the um, church in Colossians chapter 3 in that, to that church. He said this, he said it this way, strip off your old sinful nature, like cut it away, and, and put on your new nature. And it reminded me, like, um, if you come to our church building, right out front, uh, we have these beautiful pine trees. And they just got overgrown. Like, here's a picture. This is what they look like. They were completely overgrown. And, uh, and I, those of you who know me, I got a chainsaw. I love my chainsaw. If you need a tree cut down, I'm telling you, call me. Let me have the pleasure of doing that. So we're thinking about having a work day, and I said, we ain't having no work day. I'm doing this. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to cut these down. So I came out here one day, I cut down six trees, trimmed back 11 trees, and those trees you saw, those pines, th- this is what they look like now. Yeah, I know. I have, I've got skills. I know. But this, this is what God wants to do. When you think about him removing sin from your life, is it painful? Yes. But is it beautiful? Yes. This is what God does when he cuts away those things that are not like him. He makes us into something that is unbelievably beautiful. 